Hello, I'm Bradley and welcome to my channel. First things first, if you're new here, please subscribe. You don't have to, of course. You really don't have to, but it would help me out in where I'm trying to get my channel to be. Okay, so I want to talk to you about this product today. So I have recently started using this. I say recently, I've been using it on and off for about the last two and a half, maybe coming into three weeks. It is the John Frieda Frizz Ease Weightless Wonder. Now, why would you want to use this? So if you're a man or a woman and you've got fine textured hair, you will know that fine hair, even though it's fine and can often be quite downy and quite difficult to style, is actually really quite heavy and it struggles to hold volume. Now we all know that volume is the key to fullness and texture of course is the key to having a really great looking style which is going to last throughout the day. How many times if you're a woman and you're watching this have you ever styled your hair and you've got finer textured hair or on the on the thinner side which of course can still be glamorous can still look super super cool and on a man can look super super smart and really great how many times have you styled it and it's just fallen a bit flat i know when i've had shorter hair and one side's fallen a bit flat and i've still got the style on the opposite side or if you're a woman how do you find those curls do they stay in your hair does your hair flop does it lose volume quite quickly this is where this comes in. So this is John Frieda Frizz Ease. And what works hand in hand, okay, is it's weightless wonder, but Frizz Ease, because fine hair can often be quite frizzy in texture, especially if you've got a bit of a wave or a bit of a kink to your hair, it can often be frizzy. So how many times have you styled your hair and the ends get a little bit frizzy, or you've styled your hair and parts of it is well styled and other parts of it is a little bit frizzy in texture? This is what it's really great for you. And I've mixed those words up a bit, haven't I? But this stuff is really great for it. So let's start with price wise. So I'm always on the lookout for products which I can review on my channel. I have fine hair texture myself, and I know this looks as though I've got a lot of hair, but it's more air than hair. A lot of my hairstyles like this, I was really missing the volume. I've usually, when I've grown it out quite a lot now, I don't usually have so much volume in my hair, but today I've gone for the swoop one side with volume on the top and then the length on one side. Now this style, I really don't have super thick hair, but I do have the, the sort of the technique sometimes when I'm styling my hair to get the most fullness and to get that really great style which holds volume and texture. And that all starts with getting it right in the bathroom when you're washing your hair with the right shampoo conditioner. So if you've got fine hair and it's a bit frizzy, this stuff is amazing. Always use a shampoo and a conditioner set, which is for your hair type. So if you've got fine, thin hair, or even really quite, really, really fine hair, you can see through, or even thinning hair, don't then use a smoothing shampoo, which is designed for thickness, which is designed for uh, sort of slimming out and really polishing and flattening the hair, because that's just not going to work for you. Or it's as simple as saying, don't use a curly shampoo on straight hair. Always use something which is going to pack your hair with texture, pack your hair with volume, but ultimately be light in like sort of feather light and texture. And this is what this stuff is. So on first glance, packaging looks really, really super sleek and cool. It's the same John Frieda all the way through and through. Packaging sort of mirrors each shampoo and conditioner product. This is really, really nice. This is the Weightless Wonder. It's got a feather on the front here. Really nice. Like the idea of that. In terms of smell, really fresh. Really nice, uh, sleek sort of smell. Okay for men and women. It doesn't, very often if you buy a shampoo or a conditioner, it can be aimed more to sort of a smell of a very feminine type smell. It is just really nice and pleasant. Just actually smelling it. What you can, just to double check, what you can smell as well, I just had to check this because I know sometimes it has a product in here and it says aloe on here and it's got aloe water in here. You can sense, not that I know what aloe smells like, but you can sense almost like a smell of being out in the garden. Like it's been a bit of a, a raining, uh, it's been raining on that day perhaps and you get a bit of a nice pleasant sort of smell when the sun starts to come through the clouds. That's what this reminds me of. It's really uplifting. It's really, really nice. And both the shampoo and conditioner, both give me that sense of from using the product. Um, I took I took, uh, took a moment there just to smell it as well, because what I find is that when you are using different products, you can sometimes have a bit more of like a hairspray type product come through. So for example, I have got a conditioning spray uh, from John Frieda, and to me that smells completely different to what some of my reviews um, the comments on my reviews uh, come back come back to me. It's like, for example, I have a root lifting product on my channel. I think it smells absolutely amazing. Somebody come back to me and said that it smells absolutely awful and it smells like a hairspray product. So sometimes just sort of taking a moment and actually just really zoning everything down and thinking, actually, I'm using a new product. Let's give this time. And by the way, if something doesn't work for you, first of all, give it time, miss it for a couple of days, 
come back to it, use it again, because it all depends on what you've been doing on that day, it all depends on the mood you're in, because hair very much is the expression of inner health and how you're feeling. So I always find if you're not feeling great, then your hair's going to feel like an absolute flop. Okay, so I hope that makes sense, because to me, that's exactly how it feels, and I hope I've got that across in the correct way. Let's start with the shampoo. So the shampoo, Featherlight Cleansing and Advanced Smoothing. So this is frizzy, fine hair infused with aloe water. So you've got that freshness from the aloe water in here, which again, I believe is meant to be calming of frizzy hair. Now I haven't got ultra frizzy hair, but my hair does get a bit unruly. It does get a bit frizzy. So this stuff, what it does is it uniforms and it really calms the hair down. It's a shampoo very often for volume and texture. You can find that it can be a little bit coarse on the hair. This stuff is really creamy in texture and it really looks after the hair straight away. Sometimes I could even get away with just using the shampoo, which for me is an absolute sort of quite a huge thing because of course we're having highlights in my hair as well which are grown out now they have a different type of texture so they require a little bit more moisture so having the the ability to just use a shampoo and then go about my day and leave my hair or go on and dry my hair with a few other styling products then this is amazing I'll tell you a little bit about it on the back here. So our most lightweight formula tailored to transform frizzy, fine hair to soft, smooth styles. Weightlessly cleanses and moisturizes, infused with hydrating aloe water. And it is just that. It's really moisturizing. It's really hydrating. And I really, really like this one. So I would continue to keep using it. And I would certainly purchase this one again. Okay, so it says apply shampoo to wet hair, lather and rinse well. Okay, and then have we got... Must be on the conditioner. Must be on the conditioner. Where did I see that too? Here we go. So in the conditioner, of course, in the in the same set. So on the shampoo, you've got here that it weightlessly cleanses and moisturizes, and it's infused with hydrating uh, eye water. Here you have got that it weightlessly nourishes and detangles, infused with hydrating eye water. We will come to the conditioner in just a moment. That's because I actually thought that I seen that on the back of the shampoo as well. But for me, this is a bit more of a hydrating shampoo. Here it does not say that it's hydrating. It says here that it's featherlight cleansing and advanced smoothing. So whether or not you could take that smoothing, perhaps needing moisture for smoothing hair down, I don't know. But for me, I would have added the word moisturising on the shampoo because it is a really nice shampoo and it does add volume. Again, it doesn't say, it says weightless wonder, it's light on the hair and it, for fine hair, it doesn't say it gives volume. But it does give a really nice sway to the hair, a nice character in the hair, which I really, really like when I come to style my hair, whether it be a really undone style, whether it be sort of spikiness off to the side, whether it be straightened, whether it be the pompadour style, you name it, this stuff I've used on and off three weeks. I've probably used this about two, maybe three times out of the week. So I've used it a fair amount and I actually feel in a strong position to have a uh, strong conclusion on this that it is fantastic for fine hair. So if you're a man or a woman watching this, fantastic for fine hair, and it is exactly where it says it's very, very light in texture. So certainly, shampoo, absolutely 10 out of 10. The conditioner, so this here, feather -like nourishment and softness. Okay, so it's frizzy fine hair infused with aloe water. So yes, it's huge on nourishment. Yes, on softness, it does just that. So I've got highlighted hair, and highlighted hair, of course, takes, particularly if it's on fine hair, which I've got as well, it takes a little bit more knack to know how to look after it. So if highlighted hair, ultimately, it's a premium service, so it needs a lot more moisture in the hair. You need to take your time with it. You can't be rough because, of course, the hair is fragile. Fine hair is fragile when it's wet anyway, but then added on the impact of it being bleached, it needs a lot of care and love. You could say you need to really love your hair if it's fine or highlighted, because if you haven't got time or you're scrubbing a towel with your hair, then it's just going to break and it's just going to be one mess if you're not using the right techniques and the right products for looking after your hair. The conditioner, I really like this. We've mentioned this already, but it says directions here, smooth conditioner through wet hair, rinse well. Leave it in for a couple of minutes. It makes all the difference. If you're washing your hair, leave this in for a couple of minutes, because it really does just give you that extra nourishment, that extra softness, that sleekness, and it really does give you a really nice amount of volume, not crazy volume, but it gives you a nice amount of volume with a little bit of texture, but it's soft, you're not compromising on the on the feel of the hair, it doesn't feel straw-like, it doesn't feel hay-like, which I've used some volume uh, volumizing products, and it can take on those sort of characteristics of it being a little bit straw-like, and that's very often because of proteins and sort of 
products which are put in products such as shampoos and conditioners for fine hair or thinning hair to bulk out the hair. This, the way they've gone about that is they're doing it so it's a feather like product. So ultimately, it's air which is going into your hair. If you use a blow dryer, you get a really nice sleek feeling in the hair and it just gives you nice amount of sort of that feather light volume in the hair so not crazy but a really nice amount all round for a shampoo conditioner and ultimately this is a fantastic set and i would really recommend this for men or women um i've used it today and admittedly yes i've got hairspray in my hair but it's really nice always start off with wet hair with the right products if you've got fine textured hair if you've got thinning hair don't worry it can still look absolutely amazing you can control your fine hair you can control your thinning hair you can still have a great hairstyle and it can still look good this really does i cannot say it any more times add and pack a huge amount of volume but it's air into your hair as i always say my hairstyles are more air than hair this sits perfectly with me because it ultimately does just do that what i've done today is i've just started my hair off i've used my fingers across the top of my hair and i've used a brush and all i've done is just sprayed my hair into place with a uh, blasting free spray by schwarzcroft and i've done that very early this morning i started work at six o'clock so i done this extremely early this morning and it's still like i've just styled my hair and it's really really nice and i like I like the texture, I like the sheen which this puts on my hair as well. Of course now I've used a free spray product, so I'm not going to say this is from the shampoo and conditioner, but it does give a natural feel to the hair with loads of volume and just an all-round product. Okay, so I really hope that you've enjoyed this review. I certainly have, and if you're looking for it, I purchased mine in Boots here in the UK. You can purchase this on um, these on Amazon at the moment, and I believe when I checked this morning that was around the £5 mark. I paid £6 each, sadly, in Boots here in the UK, um, but ultimately, fantastic. Really recommend it. If you're a man watching this, fantastic for you. If you're a woman watching this, amazing for you. Okay, so from the bottom of my heart, thank you very much for being here. Thank you for your company, and until next time, I look forward to seeing you then. Bye for now.